Hey guys, it's Carter with Patriot Training Center. Today I'm going to go over what you should have in your range bag before you attend a class. So for our pistol classes, we'll start with a gun. So this is just a normal Glock 19. You want a good, um, good solid handgun. We don't recommend running like the small subcompacts. You want something that's going to fit your hand, um, that has uh, decent capacity, whatever you're going to be carrying with. Um, we definitely recommend you try and carry the biggest gun that you can comfortably carry because it will make your life a lot easier out on the range and you should be able to shoot it better. So this is specific one is a Glock 19, um, but any double stack handgun uh, that, that is reliable should work. The next thing that we want is a good holster. So uh, this specific one is the KSG holster. What we're looking for is something that fully covers the trigger guard on the gun, has a good positive retention. So I can hold this upside down, you can move in it and it's not gonna just dangle out. Um, you want it uh, held up and secured by a good belt. And uh, you also want to be able to get a good grip on the pistol when you're going to draw. So you wanna be able to get a good firing grip on the pistol. Um, and that will make your life a lot easier during the class. So holsters um, come in all different shapes and sizes. There's a trillion of them out there. Um, we do not recommend any nylon holsters or um, like the Serpa holsters. We've seen bad things happen with those. So we really want just a good uh, solid Kydex um, holster. That way your trigger guard's protected, everything is good to go. Um, so no nylon holsters something that clips to a belt um, or like a Filster Enigma or something like that, but it needs to have hard sided, covers the trigger guard and is built for that specific gun. So it's molded to the specific gun that you're carrying. Universal holsters, a lot of times um, they'll have one size fits all, but it doesn't fit any of them correctly. So you want a specific uh, holster molded to your gun. The next thing is magazine holders and magazines. So for this course, we recommend uh, at least having three magazines, especially if you're carrying um, something that has 10 rounds or less. If you can bring more magazines, that's great because then you won't have to run back and forth loading them as much. So bring as many magazines as you can. And then uh, the way you'll be running it is you'll have two magazines in a magazine holder on your side and then one in the gun. So uh, you'll be able to do mag changes and things like that. So that's the way we want it set up. The next thing is a good belt. So this specific one is the next belt. Uh, it's really important to have a good belt so it'll hold your gun up. You won't, your pants won't be falling down during the class. And it's good to just have these when you're concealed carrying anyways. So uh, this is a huge deal. A lot of people when they start carrying, uh, they think that their holster isn't comfortable, but really, it could all be solved by them having a good belt. So definitely want one of these in class. Let's talk about ammo. So for our two day class, we're gonna be running 500 rounds. If you can bring more, bring more. We might shoot a little bit more, um, but 500 rounds is the requirement. And for our four day class, it's a thousand rounds plus 50 rounds of frange ammo if you have it. Uh, you'll want to bring 10 rounds of your carry ammo that you're carrying with that we'll use to confirm things. Okay, so let's talk about clothing. What should I wear to the class? So <clears throat> normal uh, closed toed shoes, wear pants, and uh, I know it can get really hot, but uh, we hate having the brass dance and things like that. So if you can wear pants, and then also you want to uh, make sure that you're wearing just your normal street clothes, uh, no like um, military clothing, whatever. This is a self-defense like concealed carry uh, based class. You can use OWB holsters, just make sure um, that they're actually concealable, like you could pull a cover garment over them. Um, for our pistol classes, that's what we want. We want you to uh, train how you're gonna be dressed in the real world. If you're walking around with the drop leg holster and a battle belt all the time, then you can use that. But um, if your normal day is just like I'm wearing where I you know, have regular pants and a shirt, uh, we're gonna wanna go inside the waistband like you're concealed. So uh, that's how you're gonna dress. And then let's talk about safety. So number one thing, safety glasses and and hearing protection. So uh, these specific hearing protection are electronic. They're gonna help you a tremendous amount during the classes. Uh, you can turn them on and adjust the volume on them so you can hear the instruction. You don't have to like take your earplugs out or anything like that. 
It's really nice uh, to be able to hear everything and they filter sound really awesome. These are the Howard lights. I love them. Uh, I have really expensive ear pro, but I end up wearing these most of the time. And I think these are like 50 bucks on Amazon. So pick yourself up a pair of these or the walkers are also really good. And then uh, just a normal set of uh, safety glasses. So uh, when we're shooting, things can maybe come back at us, especially if we're shooting at steel and things like that. So make sure that you have a good set of safety glasses or prescription glasses. Um, I'm okay if you wear sunglasses too. That's what I'll be wearing out on the range. Just uh, choose your lens carefully and make sure that they're actually gonna protect your eyes. Along with when you're wearing your pants and your shirt and your closed toed shoes, Make sure you bring a ball cap out there. It'll be nice to keep the sun out of your eyes. So let's talk about the actual training day. Um, so class starts promptly at eight o'clock. So be here at 745 because you're gonna have to do some paperwork and things like that. Make sure that you're here on time so you don't have to wait. And if you miss the safety briefing, um, which is I think 845, then you're not able to actually conduct on the hot range. So super important. Make sure that you're here on time and uh, you can get the most out of the course that way. So here at Patriot Training Center, we conduct a hot range. So uh, make sure if you're gonna bring a gun into the classroom that you're already wearing it, like you're concealed carrying. I don't mind if you can still carry in here. That's what we teach. So I'm fine if you have guns in here. Just make sure that you're not pulling them out and playing with them in the parking lot, getting them all uh, messed with up there. We conduct a hot range, so have them loaded up. Um, and then once we go out to the range, we'll get you loaded up with your training ammo. Just don't be fumbling with guns and messing unless you're on the firing line with us uh, directing you what to do. Uh, no guns out in the parking lot. Come into the classroom with it holstered if you can still carry or in your vehicle unloaded um, or loaded. Just don't mess with it um, in the parking lot. So let's talk about what you need to bring to the rifle class. The first thing obviously is the gun. So this specific gun is an AR-15. Uh, any magazine fed fighting rifle is good, um, semi-automatic. The way you should set it up should be the same either way. I'm okay, we're totally happy if you bring just an iron sided gun, uh, that works great. I like to run optics. If you are gonna run optics, you want to have a backup sight, either backup irons or like a backup red dot or something like this one has. Um, the next thing that you're gonna want is a sling. So we're gonna be doing ready up drills and you're gonna be moving with the rifle. So you need a good sling um, to hold it close to your body and that you'll be able to work with. The next thing that you're gonna to wanna to make sure you bring is extra magazines. So we require three magazines for the gun. Um, having two extra ones is really nice to keep on you. Uh, if you can't, just you could carry one on you or one in your back pocket. Uh, but having a magazine holster or magazine holder is really nice. Uh, you can run like a battle belt like this setup right here and have your uh, magazines go down uh, on your side. Just make sure that you have extra magazines because you don't want to be jamming one mag the whole time. It'll really suck. So make sure that you're bringing uh, magazines. And that leads me into ammo choice. So we need 500 rounds for our rifle course. Um, we want to make sure that you're not bringing M855 green tip or any of the uh, light armor piercing rounds. We're gonna be shooting steel and it's just not great for our steel and just not good in general, not safe. So make sure that you're not bringing green tip armor piercing ammo. 500 rounds of um, any ball full metal jacket, that works great. Rifle class, you're still gonna wanna bring a good reliable handgun and 100 rounds of handgun ammunition. Um, you're gonna want to probably run this in the OWB configuration uh, outside the waistband. Um, that'll make it easy to do rifle transitions and things like that. So you do want to still bring uh, your pistol with 100 rounds of ammo um, and a way to carry extra magazines for your pistol as well, like magazine pouches um, and all that will help a lot. So you'll still wanna bring everything that you're bringing for the pistol class, for the rifle class. Uh, make sure that you have all the safety gear, you have uh, ear protection, you have eye protection, you have holsters. Another recommendation I have is maybe if it's not too hot, wear a long sleeve shirt. We're gonna be shooting down in the prone and getting in kneeling positions and things like that. So if you don't want your arms to get scuffed up and dirty, maybe uh, wear a long sleeve shirt as well. If you want to bring a shooting mat for that, you're also more than welcome to do that. Uh, that way you can stay off the dirt if you're worried about that. The, the last thing that you'll need to bring is 
a sight tool for the rifle that you're using. If you're using a optic, you want to be, make sure that you're gonna be able to uh, make the adjustments when we go to zero the optic. Or if you're using iron sights, bring a front sight adjustment tool. Um, like if you're using an AK, bring an AK adjustment tool and then also an AR. Okay, so let's talk about what you need to bring to the shotgun class. So obviously first is the gun. Uh, this one right here is an 870, but you're gonna want something um, reliable like a pump shotgun. Uh, like an 870, a Remington 870, or like a Mossberg, something reliable, that way you're not having to like clear jams all weekend, um, and you can get the most out of your time. You can use a pump shotgun just fine. You can also use a semi-auto gun like a Benelli um, or Beretta, um, just something reliable. And uh, the way you want to have it set up is <laughs> have a side saddle that you can carry extra ammo. So this is on the side of the receiver. You can also use the butt stock ones as well that hold extra shells. This, these are nice because they're Velcro, so you can load a bunch of these up and just pop them straight onto the receiver like this, and you won't have to spend a bunch of time putting shells in there, so that's really nice. Uh, as far as the safety gear, it's gonna be the same as the pistol class. You're gonna have uh, ear protection and eye protection, super important, and uh, also you're gonna want to bring all the other stuff for the pistol class. Um, if you want, you can bring a handgun with 100 rounds of handgun ammo. We might, uh, we might shoot it, you might not shoot it, but just to be safe, you can bring your handgun as well. Um, and as far as the round count goes for the shotgun, you're gonna want 300 rounds of bird shot, and then 50 rounds of buck shot, and then 20 rounds of slugs. So I'm excited to see you guys out here. I can't wait to train with you.